Today I am very excited because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight key pieces in our collection, which means that we will be able to make a key mold, then make that into a blank key. I am very excited. This is going to be my first ever key and I've never ever made one of these. So let's get to it. I want to make one. I still don't know which one I'm going to actually be making, but we have the materials for making one. So I am definitely going to make one. Uh, and then we're just going to hope that we actually get to a treasure room that actually has the key that we have actually been making. Otherwise, it, 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 yeah, it, it'll be a little bit interesting. But here we go. We are going to make a blank key. And with this blank key, that is that done. With a blank key, we can now make one of these treasure room keys. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and complete this. And then we can actually, we actually get the egg gifts back. That is really cool. We add those to there. And then we can actually read this part of the quest overview. Once you have a treasure key completed, bring it with you into the vault and search for a corresponding door. Use the key on the door to open it. Treasure rooms contain a random amount of treasure sand as well as a treasure chest. The loot inside is random, but also the only place to find certain items. Open a treasure chest and the reward is going to be a lost bounty. Very, very cool. So we apparently need an anvil uh, to be able to make these but my thoughts are kind of going can i bring an anvil into the vaults and then craft the key when i'm inside the vault because that would be kind of cool if i do say so myself so first off let me go ahead and mark all of these clusters and let us start off with for example the um the is this about the, this is benio type hold on i need to uh, senium senior how much for a cluster that is a gem and perfect black opal. Okay, so if I go ahead and make, what is this, four, five, nine. Uh, let me do math. You know what, who, who needs math? Let, let's just make 16. And then we basically just surround this with eight. So if I just take eight of every of these gems that I have and then see how many clusters I can make afterwards, we should have quite a few clusters. And I'm just going to try and bring it into the vault with us and hope that I'm actually able to do this. If not, well, then I guess we are going to learn. <laughs> and everyone is going to be screaming at me in the comments already before I've even done this, but uh, it's fine. Okay, I believe that these are the eight clusters we can make. I'm not going to use the pizza light gem because we can use those for parks and I only have the eight. So I'm going to save those, but I think turning these into clusters should be very easy and very actually not as expensive as I was expecting. So let's go ahead and make all of these clusters here. Uh, not that one, obviously, because I just said so. <laughs> let's go ahead and make this. Then we can add it to our... I removed the wrong one. Hold on, let me find that again. Yeah, we'll add it to my uh, shulker box here. And then if we find a treasure door, the theory is, we can go ahead and say, Oop, we want this and then open it. Maybe. I need to also remember to add a, uh, a an anvil. To, to this thing. Do we even have an... I don't have an anvil. Uh, do I have iron? I, I do have iron. All right, there we go. Anvil, and we already have that, and we have this. Very good. I think that we are ready to enter a vault after we've actually completed that recipe, which is uh, tulips, gold, salmon, and wool. Huh. I need 12 salmon. I mean, I have a lake here, so this should be fairly easy, potentially. I should have probably brought a boat instead, but here we go. And 12. That took a lot longer than expected. <laughs> oh dear me. <laughs> but we did it. We did it. And with that, that should be everything needed to complete this crystal. So I can imagine we're going to be running at least a few vaults today. And so this one we are not going to modify whatsoever. But we do have plenty of cake catalysts or uh, seals here, so we could maybe run one of those later. Or maybe we'll make one of those, like, um, I, I really want to make, actually, one of these executioner ones and see what that does. But we're not going to do that now. We're just going to run straight through because I feel ready and I think I'm ready and we're going to see if that's the case. Okay, it's a brazier and horde. Ooh, iron quantity. Okay, not too bad. Let's wait for the vaults to generate and uh, we'll be going. Mm, you know what? I'll, I'll take it. I'll, I'll actually take it. I mean, four seems 
fairly easy if I am being honest. Oh, I forgot. Wait, hold on. I forgot to add extra mining speed efficiency on this thing. Okay. 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 Yeah, this is. This is. You know what? Can you not? Thank you. Okay. Everything's fine. Ooh, champion. Oh no. Go. A ghost champion. A ghost champion and a bow. This is not an ideal situation. And. Uh, actually. Oh. Actually, this is. A, hmm, this could be worse. This could be way worse. That was actually easy enough. Never mind, I take it all back. And we got a trade room here. Nothing really worth it. Ooh. See, I. Okay, yeah. Don't even have enough gold for that, so that's not even going to be considered. It's gonna be satisfying, watch. Boom. Love that. I couldn't. See, I wouldn't have been able to do that with the hammer, now would I? Yeet. Hmm, all right, fine. Kill dungeon mobs. I mean, that'll be easy if I can actually find a dungeon, which I would love to. I love dungeons, but uh, the past couple of ones I've been getting has been, um, you know, in the impossible and very challenging side of the dungeons. Copiously and mob health. I think I can do a little bit better than that. Okay, fine, I'll take it. Ooh, okay, this fella is tanky. And these guys are not helping whatsoever either. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. <laughs> hold your horses there, fellas. That. You guys are very fast. You guys are very fast. Um. Let's run through that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you are. Hi. Still can't use the poison over, but that's fine. I've isolated you, and boom. Okay. He, uh, he had an axe, and that, that did a lot of, um, ouchy ouch. Oh. Oh, I don't think I... Nope, don't... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you have, like, four of those, that you can then go ahead and make an actual artifact. Um, but... Yeah, don't have enough coins for that. I just realized I'm halfway through my challenge time, and I have still not found a dungeon, which is not good, but this is very cool, though. Hello. This is going to have a lot... Oh, a lot of funny chests. Oh, this is good. This is very good. This is a very, very good find indeed. Oh, what? Oh, come on, I jumped. I jumped. Wait, are you, are you actually... Oh, you're actually supposed to do parkour. Oh, I love this. <laughs> this is a really, really good find, actually. Um, I'm just gonna have to try and hurry so that I don't get this vault cursed because that would not be very cool now, would it? Yeah, get up there. Yep. Cookie jar. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna get a cookie jar. Uh, I'm good. This vault is gonna get cursed because I don't have enough time to loot this and find a dungeon and actually get the dungeon mobs. I don't think anyway, but we will see. That's an interesting pillow. Hello? Thank you. I, I wanted that. <laughs> and there we go. That is probably everything. So, let's move on. This was a good room to find, though. Really good. Oh, this is kind of good as well, not gonna lie. I I might grab a little bit here and there, you know. Um, just, a, just a couple of doors. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is hilarious. That... That was funny. Uh, you know what? I, I can take 20% extra mob spawns. That's fine. All right. 10 seconds till this vault is getting cursed. Uh, I usually get no mana refill or something like that. So that's going to be fun. And mana leak. Yeah. In this vault, no long. Yep. Yep. That's what I thought. <laughs> but you know what? It's fine. Less than 10 minutes remaining. It's not going to be... Yes, please. That would have been great like five minutes ago. You know what? I. Mm, with that, I thought you highlight dungeon doors is this. I might just run around until I see a highlight, to be honest. I don't know what the range for the highlight is. And I might take another challenge because I'm pretty sure I might have time to kill tank mobs 11 minutes. Well, if I don't complete it, 
no, uh, no harm done, because I'll be out of the vault before then. Ah, ah, you know what? I think we have done quite a bit of looting in this vault. We have just about six minutes left. So I think I'm just going to try and uh, really see if we can find anything with this dungeon hunter. If not, I got nothing for that. Okay. <laughs> If not, just search if we should have a special room or something and then slowly head back. Also because I can't really regenerate much more health uh, because I can't use healing because that's um, that's a thing. Don't get any more mana. Yay. I think I just found another one of these rooms, which uh, that's interesting. <laughs> Two of these rooms in the same vault. I mean, can't really complain and uh, say no to an opportunity like this. Ooh. Oh, there it is. That's something. Um, with only two minutes left. Ooh, that was actually good. We got a lemon from that, I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, e, uh, mm, this is probably a very bad idea. What is this? Uh, grants one strength for three minutes. Okay. I'll try that after. Ow, afterwards. I'm going to use a little bit of mana for healing from these. And get out of here. Hard. I mean, I don't know how close I am. Uh, what does this one add 30 seconds to the vault timer? I mean, that can I got it, so I'm oh, oh no, it's spider, isn't it? Uh, hello, uh, anything, anything want to spawn in? I mean, if I could get some uh, free loot, I'll take it, but. A bit as well. Nothing has actually spawned in yet. So I'm just gonna grab. There's a spawner up there. Right there. Yeah, those are spiders at its heart. Okay. I mean, I have less than two minutes remaining anyway, but I got a lot of free loot, so I will take it and I will use the last bit of bed I have left to do this. Nice. All right. Time to go home. All right, 26.5 thousand XP. Don't know if that's a thing, but it is now time for a break. All right, let's check the red pouches. That is the pouch that is really interesting. And we got zero knowledge assets and zero key pieces. That's kind of sad. Uh, I wanted more. <laughs> I wanted more, but oh well. We have one of these. And we, we got nothing. Quite a few chaotic focuses, though, and a bunch of other stuff as well. I think that's not too bad of a haul. Also got eight inscription pieces and an ornate chest and a lot of different focuses. Wow. And I think we got a little bit of loot. You know, it just just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify this and uh, this. And we're going to compare real quick. That's actually better than armor, but I have this and that. And, uh, yeah, no, not wait. 20% increased champion damage, 23 damage. Nope, nope, not worth it. Then I'm going to go ahead and right click this and I'm going to go through this and we'll see what is left when I'm done. And out of all of this, basically this magnet that we have here is an increase or, or is an upgrade. So this is 11 range, the old one is nine. Durability is better, soul bound, uh, and velocity. It doesn't have the mining speed, unfortunately, but we can reroll that, I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Ooh. You know what? I'll take that. I, I'll take it. I'll take it. So my old one has what? I'm bringing three. He told me to have the new one, and then we scrap the rest. Now we have this fella remaining. Let's see what we get. We get an augment, blank seal. Uh, you know what? Let's just get it. Uh, Another lemon, some more gear, it's okay. Fuels, which I'm not really super excited about. And this gear is not that great either. So you know what, scrap all of it. All right, I kind of want to run another vault. That seems like a fairly easy recipe. And this time I want to run with a seal of the executioner. I'm pretty sure it's the one where you get the obelisks and then you need to destroy them. So let's make one of those. <laughs> it's kind of funny that you actually use a wooden sword to make this. <laughs> I'm actually liking that. All right, what do we need? Coal, any sort of dye, wool, and a lot of bamboo. Bamboo we can get from our fantastic bamboo farm over here, which has been running very, very well. 
And then finally, we can just get a little bit of coal and this thing should be get get closer should be done and apply the seal under the guardians. And I mean, we'll see if we can actually go ahead and complete the objective. If not, that's fine. Uh, but I am also still very much looking for a normal door. So uh, we'll, we'll see when that happens. Yeah, yeet. As confirmed, it's with the obelisks, and this is a very red and uh, interesting theme. It's very, very dark. I Oh, wow, this changes everything, having the shaders off. I might run with the shaders off for this one. Um, just so that I can actually see, <laughs> because with them on, like, it's very atmospheric, but I'm very, having a very, very hard time actually seeing anything so if i just disable them everything becomes a little bit easier whoa you guys are very very much tough okay uh these guys are not like zombies or at least they don't feel like it um you really noted very very much noted oh no not not magmas not magmas out of everything we get ma how did I get put on fire when I stepped into water? Oh, it's the wolf. Never mind. Bla Blazes. Hello. Um. Hmm. I, I don't know about this, ladies and gentlemen. I really, really don't know about this. Um. I am. Definitely not fireproof. Could you guys not? Okay, I think. Ow. I think the situation is kind of under control. Oh dear me, that was um an event, <laughs> to say the least. Ah. I don't know if I really want to... Okay, I do want these gold chests because I'm pretty sure that is where you get the key pieces or can get the key pieces. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so hopefully this has been worth it. I mean, we're getting some relic um, boost attacks, so that's cool. Don't care about you guys. Don't care about the wooden chest so much. Oh! Oh, that's where you all went. Um, okay. Okay. The fellas found their way around. Okay, right, right, right. You know what? One at a time, then it's fine. <laughs> One at a time is fine. Yep, come on. Okay, get by a few. Oh dear me. Okay. I think we're good. No way. I'll take this. Mind roll doors. Um, I kind of have to take this now. I mean, we do have this here as well, so that's good. I needed that. Uh, is my magnet on? It is. Good. That is... Ha didn't bring blocks. That's an issue. It's not an issue anymore. I just had to waste like 15 seconds getting them. It's fine. I want to move on to the next room now. Oh, is this what I think it is? It is what I think it is. Oh, this is cool. I absolutely love these rooms. I love them so much. They take a... They take a long time to go through because you gotta go ahead and break all of these, but you do get vault gold and the concrete that you get here, even if you cannot complete that thing, you can bring into the next vault and the next vault so you can kind of collect all of these concretes, which is really cool. So I will take my time and go through all these. I haven't even looked at what I need for, for it. Um, I'll leave that as a surprise, I suppose. Now, though, I'll just be doing this. I'm so dedicated that I have actually removed my shield from my offhand slot. So I can easily bridge between these. <laughs> also because no mobs are actually going to spawn in here, to my knowledge. So I should be good. Ooh, got a pink one. Those are one of the rarer ones. Uh, together with a green. Ooh, another pink. All right. That's all the sides at the bottom. Just gotta go ahead and try the top ones now. <laughs> all right, the final one. And I can actually see down here, we need two yellow, two green, two blue, and two purple. And I have in here 
no greens. So that is, uh, that's that done. <laughs> Unfortunately, haven't gotten any green ones so far. But we are getting quite a bit of a collection here. So that is good. All right. That is that done. I came from over there. I need to go down over here. Okay, I, I'm not gonna make that in my jump. Nope, I'm just gonna go in there and then go down like this. Yep, there we go. And now I have less than five minutes to find more Vault Wars. Oh joy. And I actually need to focus on that because if I get this Vault Curse and I can't heal, then doing the Executioner Challenge is actually going to be really... Oh, I got this room. It's going to get really, really complicated. Okay, I'll come back for this because that is really, really good stuff. One of the few times where you just want the room to be an, an ore only room. And it's usually not. This room is really good as well. There's some living in there. We need living because we need more knowledge essence. No ores though from what I can see. So again, I'll come back this way. You know what? Maybe I just need to stop taking the challenges because uh, at this point, I'm only making it, making it worse for myself. <laughs> really, in, in reality, that is what is happening at the moment. Well, good news is I found one of these, but I really am trying to find the ores, so don't get this vault cursed. This possibility. I forgot that there would be these fellas around here. Um, okay, just mine these as much as possible. As much and as fast. This should be, oh, 40 seconds. Oh dear me. Oh dear me, is right. Okay, yay for javelin. Yay, yay, yay for javelin. Uh, Please give me all the ores that I need. That is not all the ores that I need. I have 30 seconds. Come on. That is, that's not even ores. What? That, that's not even a thing. Oh man. Five seconds to go. Three. That, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, oh, what's this? Mobs in this vault can spawn in as ethereal, being immune to any damage. Right. I'm gonna go back and retrace my steps now because there was really, really good stuff. Uh, the other places now, uh, like that thing. At least I can still heal and I'm still getting mana. So you know what? I think I can deal with the rest. It, unless one of these fellas become ethereal, then that is gonna be problematic, but hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, I guess we'll see. That is the first wave completed though. I just realized I actually have less than 10 minutes <laughs> to find the other two obelisks. And there's still the other two rooms. Realistically, I guess I can skip one of them. Because there was really only one that was like looking really, really good. This was one of them though. Yeah, I, th I, I know I, I shouldn't skip it, but I'm skipping it. I shouldn't, but I'm doing it. I haven't found any doors either. All right, yep, this is the room. I'm just gonna jump down like a lunatic because you are one of the issues that I was potential to face and that I said was not going to be a big issue. And we have trapped stuff. This is great. Um, ha. This is the primary stuff that I wanted. And to kill the chest over there. We'll, we'll get those as well. All right, because now I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. There are now blazes in the mix. Um, I can kill everyone else, obviously. If I can just line up a good, there we go. I don't know if it's, I really don't know if this is worth it. This, okay. You know what, you know what? I think I'm good. I think I'm being slowed as well somehow. Yeah, I, th I think I'm with a... It's, uh... Could you not? Thank you. I'm just gonna go now. Yeah. No gilded chest is worth... That much chaos. Oh dear me. I basically have five minutes to find the remaining obelisks. Um, yeah. This is... Not looking good. That's my vault room. I have four minutes left. I think I'm just going to loop around it. That's probably going to fit well with the minutes. And I think one lesson learned from this is if I am going to use a seal or craft a seal and use it on, oh dear, 
and use it on a crystal, it should be because I'm actually going to do the challenge. It should be because I'm actually going to do that challenge and uh, I shouldn't be looting normally. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. So it doesn't get wasted. Mm -hmm. That is interesting. We have an ethereal down there. Not one of these actual fellas, but one of the other fellas. And um, that could make things very much interesting, because uh, there he is. <laughs> uh, I need to be able to tank a lot of hits, essentially. There we go. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. And you. Okay. That's one completed. Please don't follow me. That would be appreciated. So I think my pole is in that direction. I can spare a minute to go in this direction. I mean, imagine if it was there. I could chop down a couple of kiwis. Ow. That was very wishful thinking by me. All right. That, uh, oh dear. Yeah, that, that just wasn't a great vault run. <laughs> I mean, we got a bunch of different ores, which is good. We got three of these, uh, which resulted in nothing. So, yeah, yeah, not, not the greatest one. Oh, why? Chris Marine Shard. Please tell me that is craftable somehow. If I have Create, I can do it. If I have any Guardians, I can spawn them in. Oh, boy. Um... Yeah, that <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, that's very that's very interesting. Um, what? Yeah, no, nope, don't do that. What do I have in terms of mob spawnage? Any um guardians by any chance? Nope. Okay. Oh dear, I haven't even found a guardian temple. I'm pretty sure I would need to sail quite a bit to try and find one. Hmm. For doing anything else, I'm going to use a repair core on this sword because uh, it's getting a little bit low. And all I need is a prismarine shard, and I see no other solution other than to go ahead and either unlock create, which is not going to happen because we don't have what it takes, or find a um an ocean thingy and kill some guardians. Um, yeah, so I've just kind of searched for deep ocean because I'm pretty sure that's where they spawn at. I could have checked the wiki, but we're just gonna go on a little bit of an adventure in this direction and uh, see what happens, I guess. Okay, it doesn't seem likely. I don't think this ocean is very big. So I think we're just gonna kind of turn uh, this way. Put the compass away and see what the ocean over there has to offer us. We can always teleport back with the warp stone anyway. I mean, this biome with these shaders right now is kind of pretty. Whoa. Okay, now that is really, really cool. I think that's a very cool find. Um, that is, I think that's screenshot worthy. I mean, while we're here, is there any significant loot? Like, uh, I'll take emeralds actually. But I was thinking more in the lines of maybe... Where are we? <gasps> no way. We've actually been led to an ocean monument under the ice. <laughs> I didn't think that that would actually... I didn't even know they could spawn under the ice. Hello. Um, make sure to deploy Elytra. Wow. I can't actually mine any of this stuff. Where's the Guardian set? I need to get a couple of kills here. Um, let's actually get some air. This is creepy down here, but extremely cool. All right, fellas, this is gonna sting a lot, probably. And I really hope to. Oh, oh, that's that's already that. And I'm already I'm I'm slowly dying. Um, you know what? That's really cool. Uh, I'm gonna do this. And I'm going to teleport home, and then I'm going to put a marker on that, because that was an incredible find. Hello. Yep, this deserves a waypoint. Ocean Monument. Wow. I did not expect that to be under the ice. And that ship... Go <laughs>
That's awesome. And since we only need two of these, that crystal is now complete. And what I'm going to do in this is I'm basically only going to look for... I'm not, even, I'm not even going to do the objective. I mean, if it's easy, I'll do it. But I'm going to be looking for a key, okay? Because I want to open a treasure room door. Now that we have the keys, I've been wanting so long, for so, so long, to do one. And I really want to. 100% soul charges. Okay. That's cool. Um, I, I just I just really want to open a, a door with that key we have. It, I, I just really want to open one. If we actually find a door, you know, I might title this video Door Hunting. <laughs> uh, that, that just came to me before. That could work. Well, found a door. Um, it's not the door that we really want. But I will take what free loot I can actually get before that happens. Hello. Hi. Hi. Get, get out of here, please. Please get out of here. I, I want to leave. Hello. Found something. I just spotted it just at the corner. Oh boy, we actually found one. Ladies and gentlemen. That's two? Um. Oh no. Which one do I pick? <laughs> It does two. I don't have two keys. Um, wh which one? Okay, you know what? I saw this one first. That's the one I'm going to go for. I just have no idea. Wait. Okay. That has to be Upaline. This has to be Gorgonite. If it's not, then I'm going to be very, very sad. Okay. Excuse me. What am I doing? What? You can't do it inside a vault. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can't actually do it inside a vault. Why? Uh... I'm so sad. That's going to be the title of this video. I'm sad. Very sad. I found two doors and then I find out that I can't... I need to actually decide which key thing to use. Oh, I'm sad now. I'm, 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 I'm very sad. <laughs> I'm very sad. I could have looked it up beforehand. Okay, I could have looked it up beforehand. But, yeah, I did. Did I? Because I like to just go for it and see what happens. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, now we've learned that. I found another door, which is um, one we can access. Maybe we'll actually get something worth buying. Oh. I don't. I don't have one hundred and twenty-four gold. So, yeah, nothing worth buying. Well, there was a thing worth buying, but I don't. I'm, I'm poor, which is even sadder. So. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, wait a minute. That's hope. That's hope. Let me through. Um, Hardy Burker. I don't think that's actually worth it. I don't think that's worth it. Ooh, I don't have enough of that either. I'm... Huh. Sad times. This. Uh, I'm poor. I only have one key. I need to decide what gem I dedicate the key to. And the last vault run didn't go well. I'm not going to complete this objective either. You know what? I'm for this vault. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do something that I've been wanting to do for a while, but actually never end up doing. I'm just gonna run around until either the run the time runs out or I find a special room. Because if we could find a special room and get a good amount of loot from that gilded chest or maybe even uh, living then that would be pretty amazing. And then we would have actually, like, actually gotten something out of it. <laughs> so then a very, very tough lesson learned. I mean, if I run into them, I'll take them. Because I actually think they're fun. I don't know if I get more experience or at least trying to complete it. I mean, I hope so. Which, in that case, that'll be really good. All right, next row. <laughs> Let's go. We found a special room. Very, very good. Um, right, I, I'm just 
literally going to do the same as I did before, uh, run through this, uh, need, need blocks, but run through this, go, get all the stuff, and then, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see if we can actually potentially open that thing at the end of it. And even if not, we're going to get a bunch of puzzle pieces and a bunch of vault gold as well. Ooh, we got a green puzzle piece. Green puzzle piece, that is good, that is good, that is my first one actually. Ladies and gentlemen, today is a good day. If we go down here, time that perfectly, place this all the way over here because I don't know actually how much will spawn. We have gotten one green puzzle piece. It was, uh, let's make sure that I'm doing this right. One green puzzle piece, one pink puzzle piece right there. Four yellow ones, which we actually got from this room itself. Boom, 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 boom. And then two blue ones, which are the most common ones that we have. And place these. Press the button. <laughs> we actually did it. We actually completed. This is the first one I think I have completed in Vault Hunter, in this version of Vault Hunters. This is very satisfying. I'm doing one test at a time because I think it's more satisfying. Although the thing is, main mining it would also be satisfying. But that that was nice. That that was really good. <laughs> and I think we got a bunch of stuff from that actually. Uh, and we still have eight minutes remaining. So I mean, might as well keep going, checking rooms. I should probably start heading back at like three minutes or something like that. And we'll take this though, hoping that we're going to get more XP if I actually do take it. Plus it's it's fun. It is fun. I like it. And final one. Be gone. Please. Thank you. There we go. That's that. Eight this time. This should be very much interesting, especially because my javelin missed. No, it didn't though. Two down. Uh three. Come on. Die. A little bit of healing. I can tank the hits, it's fine. No need to worry whatsoever. Get rid of you, and you're stuck. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mind one bit actually. And I am only missing two. I mean, if I can find two more in the last four minutes, I won't complain. But whether or not that's gonna happen, we will have to see. Because I'm still doing the thing of just running through until I actually find very special rooms. Oh! That's one. That's one more on my way back. There's just six of them. This should be fairly easy. Uh, maybe use some poison over. And you heal when I can. It's fine. Okay. Nice. I mean, three minutes left, but three. That only took thirty seconds. If I can get another one, that would be perfect. It is looking unlikely. One minute and 30 seconds left. This should be my portal room. It is my portal room. Okay. Um, one minute. One minute. One minute. But I think I've already... Yeah, I think I've already been here. Oh, well. Uh, we still did pretty good, though. All things considered, we would have gotten the door if um, if we had crafted the, uh, the the key beforehand, which we hadn't and didn't. So yay! Uh, but lesson learned. So close as well. Can can we upgrade? Can can I eat enough burgers to get there? That would be kind of nice. I have four. I don't know if that. Oh, that should do it. There we go. Nice. And I know exactly what I'm going to use it on. And that is this. Gain extra mana regeneration while at full health. I am actually, I think, quite often at full health. So the faster I can regenerate mana, the better. All right, got some jewels. I'll put these away afterwards. That's actually pretty good. Some more vault gold, some unidentified vault leggings. Not too bad. I'll sort through all this, by the way, after the episode is done. Six of these. We still have... Ooh, 51. We still have a chance of potentially getting a, uh, what's it called, a relic, maybe, but that's, that's worth nothing. We'll have to see, let's see, all right, six, here we go, one, I recognize the other though, two, I think I recognize both actually. 
Did it not just rain? Okay. Right. Uh, this is the warrior set. Yep, we already have that one. And this... We're... Just making sure... Wait. We have it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have enough to make a relic. Huh? We, we actually have enough to make a relic. And it's raining. And I can't... Okay, I guess we're crafting this in the... In... In... in it's raid then. Uh, craft a relic pedestal to assemble this fragment. Okay, relic pedestal. Uh, two stone, two extraordinary benutite, and slab. Okay, that should be fairly easy. I mean, I have all of it. Should do anyway. This is a big moment, ladies and gentlemen. Relic pedestal. We can put this away and please get that <laughs> concrete out of my inventory. Uh, where should we place pedestals? I don't have a slot for pedestals. I'm not really using this space here, so I suppose we could place it here for now. I don't know if you could actually move it afterwards. I assume that you can. Um, wait, have I completed uh, two inscription? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's going to probably take a bit. All right. Relic pedestal. So we just add. Oh, okay. So we add this in here or we... Click this, not assembled before, and we add all the pieces. Oh wow. Ladies and gentlemen. That is our first Vault Relic in Vault Hunters. My very first relic ever. Don't know if I can move this, I dare not to. So something great did happen after all in this episode. <laughs> That's amazing. So I think now we will have like an extra minute in the vaults, if I'm not mistaken. And we still have others that is very much possible that we can get very, very soon. So that is just amazing. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call this an episode. However, before you go, down below in the comments, you will have more knowledge about this. Which one of these clusters do I use on the key? Should it be the Bumignite? Should it be the Spacotine? The Escalium? The Gorgonite? The Senium? Let me know down below in the comments. Is there one door that is more... Like, it shows up more often than another? Please let me know down below in the comments. And put it down there. Leave a like on the video. Greatly, it's greatly appreciated. Um, but yes. that I think I'm going to end this episode here. It's probably quite... Ooh, didn't want to get all that. It's probably already quite long. So... Yeah. In the next episode, I think we're probably going to continue running vaults because we need still more knowledge essence and still I really want to find an open door. We need more key pieces. We need more stuff. Maybe we'll do an episode of making a lot of crystals and then another one running a lot of vaults. I, I don't know. If you have any thoughts, let me know down below in the comments. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Until then, a wonderful rest of your day and good bye.